Welcome everyone to another episode of Around Akiva. I'm Tristan and today we are going to visit another event of Good Smart Company. Today we're going to Wonderful Hobby Life for You 35. It is a showcase of all kinds of different Good Smile figures from Nendoroids to Figmas. I'm really looking forward to seeing this year's Snow Miku design. I've already seen it online, but I'm super excited to see it in person. What about you guys? What are you looking forward to? I have no idea actually what's going to be there, so I have no idea. But I'm hoping for, you know, some sweet figures from the series that I love. How about you? That sounds good. I'm of course looking forward to the fat figurines. All right, so without further ado, let's go check it out. Let's go. So Good Smile makes all kinds of figurines, but probably the most popular set is their Nendoroid series, the smaller, cuter figures that they make. And as you can see, they're super popular because it takes up almost half the convention hall. We also got He-Man and Skeletor by the power of Grayskull. Don't you know? That's it's BTS. You have all the members as androids. Super oh, cool. Shit, I didn't know you were such a fan, just. I'm the biggest fan, man. And also here, you can see this is actually a section with male characters. It's targeted towards a female audience. But still, you know, even if you are a man like me, you can still love BTS. You can still love those epic characters from Italia. Just look at them. Very nice. And there's so many more. For example, here we got the Tokyo Revengers. Very epic, thank you. And, of course, D-Gray Man, also very popular. So while Good Smile's popularity comes mostly from the anime figures that they make, they also make a lot of figures for Western audiences as well. We have a Superman figurine that looks like it came straight out of the comic. This one runs almost 3,000 US dollars, but having something like this in the middle of your table, for example, would look crisp. And check out this one, this one's from Into the Spider-Verse, uh, in my personal opinion, the best Spider-Man movie out there. Uh, we got Miles here. Look how highly detailed it is. You can see the, like all the intricate designs in his mask. And you've got an entire city as the base of the figure. He's back! We got Blackie and Brownies here this time. Double the horses, double the horsepower! Every year, every winter, Good Smile Company releases a Snow Miku design. It's new every year, and this is this year's event. It's the Grand Voyage Snow Miku. And I actually tried to buy this two times this week uh, during the pre-order sales, and unfortunately they both sold out within minutes. The Juju Squad in the house! All the characters that are popular are here, assembled. I especially like the panda. Look at him, how cool he is with his fists. Stretch out, he's ready to punch you in the face. Let's go. Your favorite anime, right? My favorite? <laughs> no. <laughs> we got a Figma version of Cliff from Death Stranding here. Pretty nice, not bad. It's nice to see some game figures over here. And we have a sweet figure from Elden Rings for the, the newest game from the guys who made Blood Warrant. So it's pretty cool to see a figure here of that. Also, Goni Toys is a famous toy maker that makes toys. <laughs>
Smile just unveiled this new brand, actually. Good Smile Hello. And it's a brand that I kind of introduced to people who don't want to spend an arm and a leg on figures, but they're also very simplistic and keep the same style. And something different here, this is actually not a figure, but just a little background set to put your figure on to kind of enhance your home display if you want. Pretty cool. Justin, what would you do if in the middle of the night you woke up and you saw these at the end of your bed? <laughs> I <laughs> I don't know. We have this female Violet figure from Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I just finished playing the game. I think it's my number one most played Switch game now, but I think I only would have bought it if it was male Violet, because that's the one I played the entire playthrough. You got these uh, Anubis mask girl here, and then you have this samurai lady in her full gear. And also, if you ever visit a fast food chain in Japan, you can expect a beautiful lady like this bringing you your burger. She's just in a bathhouse, a very traditional Japanese bathhouse. This is what they all look like and she's just having a regular old shower, 100% family-friendly shower. The water looks a little bit white though, it's not weird. Oh, it's, uh, it's just the hot spring water, you know. And like any man of culture, we must appreciate the fine arts. Like for example, we have the Venus figure. We also have a Japanese dogu statue made as a figure, and even an Iron Maiden. And for true esteemed men of culture, we also have these beautiful pieces of modern art. Just look at it, beautiful. Here's another riser in a swimsuit, and she has four balls this time. I actually think they purposely uh, put that round character on the ground, because you look down, oh, there's a round character, you look up, oh, there's a lot of round things going on in the top and the bottom, you know, it's all about the roundness. from the last time we were here, it's finally colored. You can see just how beautiful it is. Have a look, just, this is absolute perfection. Okay, without a doubt, my favorite figure of all the figures today is this epic Fumado Alcon figure. I mean, it is massive for one, but also in my favorite series. And it's so detailed, it's so sick. And man, Alphonse is uh, using his alchemy to shoot up the ground here and you can it looks like the same sort of texture, just like from the anime, so it's so sick. Oh boy, I immediately fell in love with this beautiful piece of art. It's not colored yet, but come on guys, can you hear it? Can you hear the sound? Oh. And for all you Demon Slayer fans who just finished the last season, it was so epic. Uh, damn, what was the name of them again? I called people who had, oh, that's Thomas. Thomas? Thomas, he's very cool, so definitely check him out. All right guys, that was it from the wonderful hobby life for you, 35. And as always, now it's time for top three figurines of the event. Yeah, Kirill, which, which one did you like the most? Um, oh, sh hang on. Um, hang on. Number one has got to be the Hello Good Smile Toho figures. Uh, they're pretty basic, but I think they're really charming and it's cool to have all of them in the kind of the same style. Uh, number two would definitely have to be that original illustration Sakura Kimono, really, really detailed figure that was right at yep. the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'd have to say number three is just this year's Snow Miku. I'm really, really impressed with it. What about you, Matt? What were your top three figures? Number one, Full Metal Alchemist. Mm. Number two, Maybe Spider-Man into the oh, Spider-Verse mm, one. Mm. And three, probably Uraraka from uh, Pokemon Hero. Okay. Uh, for me also, I have to say, my number one is also the Full Metal Alchemist figurine. It's like a must have. My number two is one of the figurines that Kirill also mentioned. The Sakura Blossom uh, original illustration figurine. Now that I see it in color, it's just so beautiful and gorgeous. It's a must get. And my number three, 
is actually not just one figurine, but I think the whole Bunny Girl series from Freeing, uh, they are just so sexy and nice looking, beautiful. Uh, it's the perfect product for men of culture, and I think we need a collection of those figurines here in our background in the office. Yeah, but if you like figurines or anime or taco life around Japan, stay subscribed, smash the like button, and let us know in the comments which figurine you like the most. And see you next time around Akiba.